Well, I am back again with another bug that I'm fixing in Microsoft Flight Simulator using the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. This bug is a bad keybind on the VS selection on the left knob of the autopilot. When you turn the autopilot to VS, it engages the VS mode. As you can see in the simulator, the VS light lights up right there. And when you turn the selection off of VS, it deselects the VS mode. And this is not right. For example, if I take the other altitude change uh, function, which is the IAS mode, if I turn it down there, it does not engage the IAS or FLC mode in the simulator. I actually have to press the IAS button for the FLC or IAS mode to actually engage. And this is proper. And you can see I can select an airspeed above the airspeed tape. Once you set an altitude in your autopilot, there's two ways to get to your altitude, and it's either via a vertical speed or indicated airspeed. So these two modes are mutually exclusive. You can only pick one and not the other. So here's where the bug causes a problem. Say I've set an IAS, and now I want to adjust the altitude. To get to the altitude, I have to go through the VS mode. So it turns the VOS mode on and then back off again, which completely disables my IAS that I had preset. And the other problem is if I did set a VS, as soon as I turn off of the VS, the VS is disengaged. So it's really not working properly. This is how you want to fix it. Go to the controls page and select the Bravo throttle quadrant. Make sure the left knob of your autopilot is set to altitude, ALT. And then go over and click search by input and move the knob down to VS. This will bring up the two bindings for VS. The one that's bad is this set autopilot VS hold. So click on that and we're going to clear the current input. Okay, clear the current input and validate. That will get rid of the bad key bind. If you're working from the default profile, you'll have to rename this. I'm not going to do that because I already have a profile set up that already has this fix. So apply and save. Now we'll go back to the simulator and see how the autopilot functions now. Now when I turn the left knob to VS, it's not going to light up or engage the VS mode. Just like IAS, just the way that worked in the past, now the VS is working properly. To actually select them, I hit the button. So there's how I select VS, hit the button, and there's how I select IAS, I hit the button. That's the proper way to have them selected. You don't want anything being selected or deselected with the knob. And now if I select VS, if I turn the knobs around back and forth, it doesn't deselect it. And that's what you want to have happen. So that's how you fix the bad key bind for the VS mode in the Bravo Throttle Quadrant Autopilot. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to give a tutorial on how to use the Bravo Throttle Quadrant Autopilot in the game.